everybody today I am going to be doing an updated video um, a co an updated collection video I should say of my coloring books the last one I did was in May of 17 I believe and I get requests at least weekly on on these so I'm gonna go ahead and um flip through the ones that I've received May and on um, a lot of these I haven't posted videos on them yet so I'm not going to do full flip throughs or anything you know we're just going to go through them so you can check them out okay let's get started this first one is called fairies um, Darcy May it says to paint or color it is from Dover I think this whole stack is Dover I want to say um, I love the Dover coloring books. They're just so pretty. I haven't colored anything in this one, but I do like the lines. They're lighter, but you know, you definitely see them well, but, um, they don't take away from the picture. So very beautiful. I'm going to be doing a, um, review on that one very soon. This one is Richard, Richard Dole's Fairyland adapted by Marty Noble. Same thing. It's from Dover. The lines in this one are a lot, um, uh, thicker. You can see it a little better. I'm going to be doing a review on that one. Uh, Dover Coloring Book Roar, uh, Fashions of the Roaring Twenties. I just love that style. The clothing and all. It's just so beautiful. I um, uh, haven't done anything in this one either. These are all new. I'm working on them. Mythical Mermaids. I really love mermaids so I thought I'd get me a cute mermaid book really nice and these books are all thinner you can see they're thin but the paper's decent all right this one is fairy fashions by scott altman the lines in this one are beautiful i mean really really nice this one is the vampire coloring book by marty noble um come on look at that awesome i'll be doing a flip through soon uh, Creative Haven Art Deco Fashions. Some really cute pages in here. <clears throat> Owls. I got a whole Creative Haven Owl book. I started on one or two in here, I believe. But it's really cute. I'm going to do my review. Fashions of the 1950s. I just love vintage. Ornamental Fashion by Creative Haven. All of the dresses are made of some type of ornamental designs. I mean, it's like over the top designs. This is a Hamsa Design coloring book. And they all have a different theme. And now, this is the Dover Masterworks. <coughs> color your own Renoir um, they show you um, the pictures of the originals and then you can just you can do the same colors if you want um, try to make it look like that one or you do your own thing color it how you want they show you the pages in the back and in the front and then they give you your um, blank page I think that's really cool I'm gonna go on through that with the pages I colored same one uh, color your own Van Gogh, same principle, the pictures, and then that's one of his famous ones. All right, this one I already have a video on. I just recently finished this one right before Christmas. This is the night before Christmas, John O'Brien, and I actually, except for a few minor details, um, finished almost the entire book, so I'm very proud of that. So check out that review on my, on my channel. Escape to Wonderland. Um, Good Wives and Warriors. Everybody has seen these books. They're great, great little books. I love them. I did a review of this one. I have to post it though, I think. I don't think I posted it yet. Story of Pandora. This is another Alice in Wonderland version. I actually collect a lot of Alice in Wonderland. Here's the Creative Haven Alice in Wonderland. Cute. 
This one is Olga Glovluskin. Glove. I'm not. I'm not gonna try. This is her version of Alice in Wonderland. Um, I did the review, but I have not posted this one yet either. And this one is the French version, uh, Marilyn Weil. Um, I did do a review and posted this on my channel. This is one of my favorite Alice books. It is just so cool. I absolutely love it. I love the style, the, 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 the details. I love her drawings, how she did it. It's just gorgeous to me. This one, Alice in um, <clears throat> Alice's Nightmare in Wonderland. It's another one that I just absolutely love. I love creepy. I love what creepy meets stuff that's not supposed to be creepy. Okay, and these two books, Myths and Monsters by M. Patrick Dungan. He has volume one, two, and three, but my sister stole volume one, so I can't show you that one right now. But I do have a video up on my channel for volume one. And I have, I think I have a video on all of these on my channel. So, um, I absolutely love his books, his style. They're gorgeous. I'm trying to find the page that I colored in here. I do it Apollo. He is gorgeous. This is Myths and Monsters 2. Myths and Monsters Volume 3 and Patrick Duggan. I started on him. Let me go up a little. I started on math. And I I did um, her the other night. I love her with the heart dripping down with the blood. Very cool. So yeah, go check them out. Myths and Monsters. Family Guy. I did a video on him, a review. Uh, I'm not going to go through it too much because some people get offended. It's just, it is what it is. You like it or you don't. I did a video on this one also, Painting for Peace in Ferguson. Really cute coloring book. Um, they're trying to raise awareness about what happened in Ferguson, so check that out. This one is Field of Letters, Volume 1, Ancient Times, and Narrative of Womankind by Taylor Carnes Bennett. It's a very, very nice book. It's like a storybook and a coloring book all in one. There is nudity in here, so if you're offended by that, please. I think color in here, I just can't find it. There's so many pages in this book. Oh well, check her out. These books are from Sun Life Drawings. Um, <clears throat> Animal Love Quests, Color by Numbers. I think I did one in here. Basically, in these books, yeah, you take a color, take a number. It's paint by numbers. This one's animals. And this one, it was uh, Christmas. I like the Christmas one a lot better. I could tell what it was. But it's, the, the process of it is neat. Um, extreme coloring. I have several extreme books. Let me grab all of them. Extreme dot to dot, which is wow. That's all I can say. Here's the one that I did. Extreme dot to dot. It's they're all like a thousand. Um, and actually, this page right here is this dot to dot. Yeah. So, extreme dot to dot. Classic pinups by Gil El Elverine. And then this is the extreme coloring. Uh, coloring book about classic pinups. Uh, pin can't talk today. Classic pinups by Gil Evergreen. Yeah, they're beautiful. Some of the pages um, are colored in already for you. So um, this one is the 
relaxing under the sea dot to dot book. This is the one I did. I also believe it was a thousand connect the dots. And then I uh, watercolored and did color bursts in the background to make it kind of look underwater. I have a review of this on my channel. This one is Extreme Mandalas. I'm not the biggest fan of mandalas, but um, some of these are pretty. You need your fine liners for this book. I mean, there's no getting around it. It's so tiny. Here's the one that I started. I use a lot of gel pens and the little fine liners. So I think it's starting out pretty. All right, and now we have some, a couple of books that have been printed. This one is Medieval Mischief by Linda Rakos. I printed this out on a heavier cardstock. <clears throat> Medieval Mischief by Linda Rakos. These books are great. You can download them and print out as many copies as you want to. Mix it up, print another copy. This is the one that I did. I wish you could see all the glitter and shine. Maybe a little bit. I'm really proud of this page. It came out really, really good. Um, I love the background, the gradient of it, and I did the unicorn and all silver glitter. Um, I want to hang this one up, so. Yeah, I like the digital ones when you can just print them away. This one is Color My Dress by Mumao M. Sumro. I hope I pronounced your name right, hon. And these are all, um dresses that she creates. Here is one that my daughter colored. I know I colored at least one more in here. It, it, oh, yeah, 4th of July. Can you tell when it was? <laughs> this one, I think it came out really pretty. Her fashion style is really nice. So, yeah, you can download it onto whatever type of paper you want. And I just normally you know, keep them in these little file folders. This one is Big Hair. I showed you the Big Hair art um, on my first review. And this one, she revised it, Lynn Reeves. So this is um, the same book, but she uh, tweaked it a little bit. Um, I love her big hair books. They're just so pretty. This is the one that I did in here. I love it. I think it came out really pretty. So I love faces and hair. So check her out. This one is Pirates and Mermaids by Jay Silvergreen. This is one of those books where it's got the double pages. So if you mess up, you got another copy in the background. Just for feet. Um, this is the one I colored in it so far. She came out really pretty, I think. A lot of mermaids, of course. My sister colored this one. Oh my god, it is amazing. Yeah, great book. Check it out. Check out my review on that. I have a review of this one also. This is also by Sun Life Drawings. This is Day of the Dead Sugar Skull. So they're all themed skulls. I had um, started a Christmas one. Yeah, started this one. Need to finish that one. Check it out. This one is Dawn D. Boyer, Fantastic Flora and Fauna, Volume 2, Cuddly Cats and Kittens. I did this one. Um, I watercolor a lot of this. I did a review on this on my channel, so you check it out. These two are <clears throat> by David M. Taylor, Secret Beasts of the Realm, and this one is Animals of the Realm. These are really, really neat. I did this one in here. Wish you could see the tail, all glittery. A lot of different creatures in this one. Check that out on my page. 
And then this one is Animals of the Realm. And this one's a little easier. Well, a lot easier. Yeah, really neat books. Check that out. And then I have in this stack four um, Carlton books sent me these to check out. These are the coloring and craft books. You can color them and there's tons of things to cut out and make. Flowers, this one's mandalas, patterns, and the vintage coloring book. So yeah, check that out. I have a video for all of these. It shows what you can make out of them. Um, all right, let's get another stack. All right, moving on to my next stack. First one, I do have a review on this one. This is Color Me a Circus um, by Nata and Bragmob. Really, really whimsical. I enjoy this book. Check out my video on her. This is a pretty book. Wishes and Wondrous Things by Corey Dante. I don't think I've colored anything in here yet, and I really wanted to. Her style is really cute. Check it out on my page. I did a review of the Scandinavian coloring book by Zena Shaw. I love this cutout. It also, it has lots of whimsical designs on here, hand drawn. I love that. Check out the review. This book, I love this book, Mascara. Bursting Midnight Enchantment by Mardell Rubio. I've done one in here. The pages are so thick. High quality. I did him. Isn't he awesome? I love it. I mean, and they're perforated. And I like it can work. And just flip the book over. Really, really stunning book, I have to say. The pages are so nice the quality you can do any medium on here and not worry about it at all let's see yeah just the face where I used the pro, um, pro markers went through on that one so there is a review up on that one little uh, nice little town a little small book I keep you know in my bag I just recently started on this one that's all I did um, I'm not sure. I think I have a video on this one. I need to do a video on this one. Coloring Fairies, a Pictura. Um, I saw this on somebody else's channel, and I just thought they were so nice. There's a bunch of them in this series. But you... It's all kind of grayscale looking. And it forms a panel. And it's just long fairy picture in the forest just absolutely gorgeous pictures and then you flip it over this way and it gives you tips and tricks of how to draw and color and then they have a few more of the pictures at the back really stunning just a stunning book so and you can pull it out and hang it up if you wanted to this is another wives and warriors everyone has seen this one escape to Shakespeare. I haven't colored in here yet. Um, I've got the two Rita Berman books. This one is the winter book. This one is the uh, fall book. Um, I think I only colored these so far in here. I love these books. They're amazing. color anything in the fall one yet because I actually got this one after the fall one. <clears throat> this one is wise owls this is empty because there was a pack of pencils in here so I'll pull that out this is a really cute if you love owls they have a ton of them in here this is the one I started on I need to do a book on that. All of these I think need reviews. This one's Color Your Year, Changing Season. This one is Mysterious Planets. 
I haven't colored in this one either. But I'm going to show a review on that. Everybody has seen the Time Chamber. I just recently got these, so I haven't done any reviews or anything on them. Tried them out. This is a Zen Doodle Under the Sea by Deborah Muller. Have I colored here yet? I love her mermaid, so that's why I marked that page. I don't think I colored in this one yet. But it's all Under the Sea mermaids and everything. This is another Deborah Muller, Magical Fairies, which I thought was really, really cute. Her faces are just amazing. This book is really cute. I'll be doing a review very soon. This is by Jess Mahari, Free Spirit. It says it calms your mind when you're coloring this book. I haven't started, I believe, in this one either. A lot of whimsy. Oh yeah, I wanted to do this one. I think this um, paper is thick enough. You could watercolor in it. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a review on that one. So there's another Alice in Wonderland book. Deborah Muller. Her version. So I wanted to check her out. This one is Enchanted Worlds. Um, Amy Zerner and Monty Farber. A lot of their pages are very, very dark, but I like them. It's very, I like the whimsy hand drawn look. Um, Lacey Sunshine's Wonderland coloring book, another um, Alice type book, her version of it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a review on this one. Another Lacey Sunshine Enchanted Kingdom. Just showing you a couple of pages because I'm going to be doing full reviews. I bought this one for my daughter. She is, um, she does a lot of horror herself and um, her birthday is the same day as Edgar Allan Poe's birthday so she really likes his work and is obsessed with him so I got this book for her. But I think I'm going to steal it and color a few pages in. I haven't done a review on it yet, but um, watch out for that. Okay, next stack. Okay, got a new stack. These three are a series of Moodle books. They're Moodles and Doodles, and basically it's like... If you've ever seen those Wreck My Journal books, it's kind of like that, but for colors, I guess you'd say. This one is Happy. And there's lots of prompts and different things that you can do in color. Um, they're kind of neat, you know, some things you can do in here. This is the happy one. This one is the grumpy one. You're supposed to, you know, color in them and draw in them, doodle, and then it's supposed to make you happy. So, some of the pages are repetitive in some of these books I've noticed. Thinking about doing a giveaway for these, but I'm not sure really cute. I have a review coming on all of these. Stressed. Same thing. Lots of prompts and doodles and things to do. Really fun books. Um, adults, teens would love these type of books. This is another series that I have. The Just Add Color. This is another one of the Just Add Colors. Um, this is the one I got from the UK. Um, I have a um, I have a review up on this book. This one is just add color circus, which I absolutely love the pictures in here. I think oh, it's the only one I've colored so far. Um, they're odd, which I love. They are the lines are great. Absolutely adore the pictures. The um, paper is amazing, nice cardstock, and they're single-sided. So check out my review on that. This one is the Just Add Color Abor, Abor I can never say this word right. What is wrong with me? Just Add Color Aboratorium. Right, oh, I'm sorry. This one is by Sarah Walsh, and this one is Lisa Congdon. Really whimsy, cute outdoor book 
check that out. I got an arm review on that. Just Add Color, another one by Lisa Congdon, Flora and Fauna. Her rabbits just kill me. I absolutely love the rabbits. They just, they crack me up. They're so cute. Yeah, check that out. This is another series called Color Me Fearless. Um, Angela Porter for Fearless. Um, uh, this one's, oh, Angela Porter and Lacey Mucklow. This one is Angela Porter, Lacey Mucklow, and Alana McGinn. And Angela Porter and Lacey Mucklow. So I've got the Fearless. I like these books. They're bigger, they're heavy, they're a lot of pages. And they go through different themes. And you see all the different colors? That's because they have a, a border. So you have a nice, clean, crisp page. All kinds of different themes in them. I really like that. This is Flora Lee I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna take it out and put it in my room. Um, they give you a lot of colored examples. This one is Fearless. Watch out for my review on that one. This one is Color Me to Sleep. The only problem is it's kind of hard to get these broken in, so you just got to do what you got to do. There are a lot of mandalas in these two. These are examples. I didn't color that. This one is Color Me Happy. And they all have 100 pages. I mean, look how thick they are in different chapters. Watch TV, sit down and do some of these. Really neat. These are for a resident. Somebody sent these for a resident at my nursing home. Um, so I want to hurry up and do this before and get it all edited before I um, give it to them. Um, Creative Coloring for Grown-Ups Glorious Gardens. You'll see the review. Very pretty. Lots and lots of pictures in here to color. Creative Coloring for Grown-Ups Beautiful Patterns. So you'll see a lot of patterns over and over again in here. A lot of zen doodling going on. Coloring Book for Grown-Ups. I like when they have the black on them in the background. Alrighty, check out my reviews on these and um, let me go get another stack. Next book is called Courageous Coloring by Kim Bonner. These books are really pretty. I love faces. This is the one that I did so far in here. This one is the workbook. There's a workbook and a coloring book. Um, the, pa the pages are a lot of the same in both of the books. But if you see anything that you like in these pages, go um, check out my review and I'll have the link in that video. I love Jenny Mana. What can I say? Her books are so cool and I'm really into faces and oddities so I, I absolutely love these books. Um, let me start it on this one. They're just, they, they scream watercolor to me, because I just love watercoloring. Um, just adorable. These books are so cute. I watercolored the mermaid. You can see some of the glitter and shine. I think I used ink tints on this one. Yeah. Um, definitely check her out, because she's amazing. Um... I don't know. I want all of her books. I want every single one of her books. So go check her out. I have a video review on that one. On my last haul, I did Clara Markova's first book. Well, since then, she got um, this new book, Tender Full Enchantments. I love it. It's my precious book. <laughs> I call it my precious. Um, it's amazing. I have so many pages that I want to do in here, like the whole book. This is cut out for the, um, I'm so proud of this page. It came out so good. Um, you flip this. This is the cutout. I 
think that's so cute. It took me a long time to finish those these two pages. Uh, I recently did another one in here the other night. This one. Oh, I have to finish this side of it. She came out really pretty. I love this book. It's just stunning. All of her work is just so beautiful. And I love how she gives you all the space to write what you use, the date. Um, signature pages are just amazing. I do have a review of this on my channel. This is one that I think this is the fourth Hannah Carl Zone. One, two, three. Yeah, the first video I showed you the three that I had. This is the fourth one I had pre ordered. I'm not sure what Tidevar means. But this is Hannah Carl's on. I don't think I've colored much in here yet. I have. Um, oh, I did this one for the autumn. Yeah, I think that's all I did so far in this one. Again, Hannah Carl's on. Everybody has these books. These are the Romantic Country. I said I wasn't going to get into them. Um, I said nope, nope. I resisted and then I don't know what happened. I watched a live stream of somebody coloring in them and they were so freaking cute. I had to get them. So they're by Erie and what I really love is that I love the off-white coloring in the background for one and I love all her details and I don't know if y'all know this but this lady draws all of her pictures with a toothpick did y'all know that a toothpick what is it oh there's posters in here I didn't even know about that so yeah this is the first one the second one and then the third one I still haven't done any pages in these yet I really just got them so um, I'll be doing my own review even though there's a billion of them out there I'm still gonna do my own this is the second book by Emily Leadhall Oberg. The first book I showed on my last um, collection video. This one is hardback, which is really, really cool. I love her work. Um, I did the nameplate page. Uh, let me see. I did a video, but I think I still need to edit and post it. And this one I got, um, I have all the other Joanna Bassfords, um, so I decided to get this one for Christmas. I only did one page in here so far. The next one's going to be that owl. I did this one. Maybe I did another one. I did. I think I did. Maybe not. The gingerbread house took long enough. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. It came out really pretty. I enjoyed working on it. I just sit here at night and color, kind of tune everything out, listen to a, a new series or binge some TV or something. Okay, this is the book I waited for and waited for and waited for. Oh my god. This is Carolina Kubakowski's coloring book, Ticket to Dreams. I showed you guys her first book in my first collection, the Poe Druggy Struny, Struny Snoo book. Oh my god, I love this book. I love it. Um, so I'm so excited to show you. This is her second book. And it's so worth the wait. It's worth the price. It is amazing. It's um, spiral bound. I do have a review on it, so I'm not going to go too crazy. I do like that you can, um, you know, I love the spiral bound books like that. Absolutely fantastic. Her, her books are just stunning. Absolutely stunning. So... If you get a chance, check her out. I have a review um, on my channel, so go go check it out. What can I say? All right, next stack. Let's keep going. This book 
by Pavi Vasala, uh, Mental Images. She has volume one and volume two. I did a review on both of them. Volume one, someone borrowed, so I don't have it to show you, but you can see it on my channel. Um, her books are very detailed, um, very relaxing. You can get your markers out and sit in front of the TV and just go with it. I really enjoy her stuff so um, go check her out on my channel these books are by upcoming new author Lauren Claire that's L-O-R-I-N Claire um, this is actually her first book she does a lot of horror and that type of thing um, I, I love the cover I just had to have it so this is Witches and Whimsy, an art therapy book. I just love this book so much. I pasted, I pasted, I posted a bunch of these videos on my um, pages on my um, Instagram. She's got some adorable um, pages. I did a um, review flip. And, oh, and she's got double pages, so like it starts back over once you get to the second half. So, yeah, check her out. This one is calmer than this one. This She really has stepped it up a notch with this book, The Night Terrors, by Lauren Claire. Uh, look at this cover with the stuff coming out the eyes. I love it. Right, these are some of the ones that I, I downloaded in college. She has an Etsy site. Um, this took me a while to figure out how to do this ghost coming out the door, but I absolutely love how this came out. Um, I downloaded that one. This one's one of my favorites. Love it. Look at that doll. I mean, she's amazing. This one is cool. This one is super creepy. I love her title page. Um, the Night Terrors, how she did that. So, there's another one where she's got um, the double pages. So, if you mess up, look at the eyeball coming up. Let me scoot this over a little bit. And then I have some Nightmare City in this book. Amazing artwork. She is really talented. Check her out, y'all. I have um, I have reviews to both of her books on my um. Look at this guy. I have reviews to both of her books on my channel. She is just amazing. Okay, this one is a color it book. Um, I had showed another color it book, the best of. And oh, I know I just did not want to like these books. I keep saying it, but I fell in love with them. They are definitely worth the price. Um, I try to wait till they go on sale, which is rare because the price just went up again. They're not $15.99 anymore. I think they're like $17.99. But there's so much quality in these books. They um, they're spiral bound at the top. The pages are very thick. I mean, like major thick cardstock, and it's just real not not glossy, but I don't know. It takes every medium so well. Let me find the one that I colored. Or did I pull it out? I did want. I did another one, and my daughter hung it up. So yeah, I did her, and I used the color it. Um, pencils for this so I did a review on that too you can check that out on my channel I haven't bought any more just because they're very expensive but um, if they come out with themes that I like I'll definitely get it check that out on my page um, someone sent me this book to review Millie Murata thank you, you know who you are um, I really, really like it I hadn't had any of her books before I um, think she's just stunning. Her her pages are really gorgeous. This is the one I started on, the mushrooms. 
A lot of doodles. Real nice book. Check it out on my page. Oh, I got another Alice book. This is Alice's Nightmare in um, Wonderland by Shalomar N. Mugo. Or Mugo. This one is very, very creepy. I mean, look at the king and queen. This is a creepy one. I haven't covered in this one yet. Yeah, check this one out. And then we have a design original. I think this is my first design original book. This is the full art. And the only reason I got this book is because of the front cover because these dolls I collect these I have a bunch of them so I had to have this book but I really like it because design originals in all of their books they give you tips and tricks um, color palettes they tell you about shading they give you examples of the different color palettes color theory I mean they really do a lot they it's really nice how they do this and then you can start your own page and it tells you what everything is like Matryoshka dolls from Russia and, you know they go through everything and they tell you where they're from the hamsa so um, I did have I have a video on this so check that out creative fairies by creative haven this one is Barbara Lanza This is the one that I did in here so far. I have a lot of gel pens in here. The book is stunning. Check out my review on that. Okay, this one is The Mystical Lands of Yukana or Uchana. I'm not sure. Um, Okay, this one is The Mythical Lands of Yukana, Book 2. Um, the Secret Realms, Book 2 by Karen Meyer. Karen E. Myers. I love this book. I love all of her books. I did um, show you her first book in my first um, collection video, so you can check that out. I also have a review on it. Very grayscale, which is super great. I love coloring grayscale. A lot of very neat pictures in here. Let me find one that I color. Here's one. A lot of it takes to um, pencils really, really well. Gel pens. I didn't try alcohol inks on here. But if you like that super whimsical type look, this is a great book for you. This book is stunning. Um, Kinuko Y Craft Myth and Magica Enchanted Coloring Book. A lot of foil on the front, real shiny. Real great, great quality book. It's just stunning. I mean, look at these pictures. I haven't colored in yet, just haven't had the time. Um, yeah, I have a review on that one. Fantasy and Fairy Tale Coloring in Grayscale by Molly Harrison. I got this one because of the first few pages were all Alice in Wonderland. And I love Alice in Wonderland. And this one I did using, believe it or not, these really, really cheapo pencils from Walmart. The Sivo, S-I-L-V-O, I think, Vivid Colors. All of Alice and the cat and everything. Everything but this background. The background was polychromos, I believe, maybe Prismas. But um look how stunning they are. Those pencils were great. Check out the um review video because I show you tell you exactly what I used. And here she is again. It's just such a beautiful book. So yeah, check this book out. The art over madness flowers faces and fantasy just the things i like by krista tessa really nice faces in this book i love it check that out surreal fantasy by aikuko 
This one has the double pages also. Here's one that I colored. This is one of my favorite pages. I get a lot of likes on Instagram on this picture. Um, the front of the book, they're in white. The back of the book was in all black, which is really cool. The backgrounds were all black. So all of the pages in here are just absolutely stunning. I've been seeing a lot of them now on Instagram and Facebook. This one is Selena uh, Finch, Fairy Companions. Another grayscale type book. I see a lot of these on Facebook as well. Beautiful book. This one is Deborah Muller, Fantasy. I guess I didn't realize I had so many Deborah Muller books. I just recently did a um, I just recently did a video on this, so it is up. Yeah, check her out. This is another one by Akuko, another grayscale. Absolutely beautiful. Another horror book by Alan Robert, The Beauty of Horror, a gorgeous coloring book. This is a lot of like what that Lauren Allen is inspiring to be, I'm assuming, because her books are really creepy too. I think I had done one around Halloween. Yeah, I did this one. I think she came out good. Really, really cool. I love how hard she's just swinging with her head <laughs> in her lap. <laughs> Yeah, with the evil tree. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I'm bizarre. I like what I like. I like whimsical, scary, creepy, you name it. This one is Escapes Collage Art um, by Marty Noble. Dover Publication sent this one to me. Thank you so much. And the books are um, different. They're kind of landscape instead of, you know, portrait. They're landscape. They are off-white, perforated, really thin paper, but beautiful. I mean, you could take these out. They're just gorgeous. I started on one here. Uh, it's like Art Nouveau type. Yeah, Art Nouveau and Japanese and vintage all had a baby. Check them out. Really nice. I did a... Um, review on that one. This is the Wave book. I have a video on this one too. Uh, I think it was... I don't remember how many pages it folds out to, but it's by Chantel Martin. And it is one of those whimsy type find everything in the book that... It's one of those whimsy books that kind of continue like page to page. got a bunch of panels and they just continue and they have the most bizarre pictures that I absolutely love I just think they're so cool I would like to marker or watercolor this and hang it up eventually that's what was on the cover it's called a wave book and then they give you room in the back to begin your own journey so you can do your own it's all blank. Wave book. And last but not least, my super ginormous coloring book project. This one is volume two. Volume one has currently been used, so I can't show you that one. But um, I do have a flip through of it, so just check my channel and you get to see the entire inside of it. Um, I love these books. Look how and I just got so many pages I want to go and color in them. They're just so many amazing artists in here. Um, I don't even know how many. I mean, but look, look how thick it is. It's like a telephone book when they used to be telephone books. It's heavy. 
all of them. It's just from something like this, this stunning, to like some childish, easy ones, you know. So there's a little bit of something for everybody in these books. Like Bizarro, I love that. So yeah, check these books out. A lot of these look like tattoo artists as well. Little games and different things in these. I love the Florida de Lee. Yeah, I colored a few in here, but I'll probably never be able to find them. I think I colored more in one. Here's one. Yeah, so... Check it out. It is a great book. You buy this book, and, and you'll have a coloring book for you. I mean, look how many pages are in here. There's hundreds. So, check them out. And if you got this far, oh my God, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, some of the books I say that... Some of the books are maybe not uploaded yet but I have done a video on every single one of these books I just need to upload or edit some of them so they will get on there eventually if there's one that's not on my channel and you really really want to see right away just message me that's not a problem you can um, always find me on all social media at Orion's Girl 93 Facebook I have a, a page on Facebook, the Ryan's Girl 93, um, Twitter, Instagram, everywhere. Just Google it and you'll find me. Um, and I also, at the link of all my videos, I have all of my um, places you can find me. Pinterest, I'm also on there as a Ryan's Girl 93. Um, I don't know if y'all, most of y'all know it. My real name is Leslie. So, thanks for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And if you guys have any books that you'd like me to review, just let me know. If you have a book you want to send me, just email me, let me know. Uh, or contact me on one of my social medias. Um, I'm always up for reviews. Um, thanks for watching. This is a lot of fun. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.